Um, what do you do for work? Um, I I own this business, and then uh, I also do some real estate as well. What do you do? Uh, you got your real estate license? I do not. No, we manage. Uh, my dad has commercial properties, so I help him with the management of that. Okay. I dabble in a lot of things. This is, you know, this is probably my primary income as far as that goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I um, and how long did you say that you've had this, this here? I'm, we moved here in June of last year, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. So June here at wholesale. Yes. Okay. And your internet provider? Is Ozarks Go. Ozarks. And how long have you had them? I, I don't exactly remember. Okay. And do you guys operate on like a Wi-Fi here or? So yes and no. We've had several different things. In fact, last week I changed it because we had three different, there's, I think there's three routers in there right now. I honestly can't remember. But we had it daisy chained to where we had different, um, so we could send it out over the lot, so we could get to the, each edge uh, to be able to take pictures and things like that and post them up. Because um, our cell service is not real great down here in the valley. So, um, but I think we right now I think I probably have two routers in there hooked up. One's more of a long range, and one's closer up. Okay. Two routers, and are they password protected or secure? Um, I believe one of them is. The other one I think was more like a guest network. Um, but I I think that's why I've got them separated right now. Okay. Right. And yet last week I changed the configuration on the the router because the one was open the the one that said the main one up where our, actually it comes the modem comes in. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. And you said you didn't have very good cell service here, huh? Well, depending on the provider. Um, who do you have for AT AT and T and Verizon? Well, I have it. I have Verizon, okay. but that's we've had your, both. That's on your personal phone. Or? Yes, on my personal phone. Okay. And what's that number? Uh, four seven nine two zero zero two six eight one. Okay. And uh, you said AT and T on another one, or? Oh, I don't have any. I I used to, oh, um, right. but AT and T is. Is I know there's and then Sprint is we can't really get any signal here for them. Okay, um, how long and how long have you had Verizon? I don't know. I don't recall. Yeah. How about um, in your residence? Electronics there? Um, but electronics. What do you mean by that? Like computers, phone, other phones, anything like that. Um, I mean, my wife has a phone. Mm -hmm. Um. But not not any more that I possess. Okay. Um, I mean, I have in the past, and I've recently upgraded my phone. So, I mean, as far as that goes, I don't want to. All right. Um, email. You got email accounts? Yes. What would that be? Um. So my email is Joshua Duggar at iCloud.com. It's my full name. Sir, if you don't mind, we we'll go back real quick to those electronics. I know uh, Agent Accord missing mentioned in your home residence, uh, but for the reason of why we're here today, what are we talking about electronics on scene? Okay. So you have your cell phone, right? Right, my cell phone, and then there's a lap there's a laptop in that RV over there. Okay. No, let's do one by one. The phone that was one that you had in your pocket, right? Right, in my pocket. Um, who else has access to that phone? Um. Well, depending on who's, I mean, sometimes. I have a guy that works with me. He'll take pictures sometimes with the phone. So um, outside of you, other people will possibly have. Is, is the password protected? Yeah, it's not 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 uh, not very secure. I mean, everybody knows it. Okay. Uh, my kids use it quite a bit. My wife, um, mostly family and gotcha. friends. Is it it's a not swipe like hand it around. passcode or is it a PIN number numeric? It's, uh, it's a it's a PIN. What's the PIN number for it? Um, am I required to to give that to you? You're not. But, okay, but, I'd rather not. Okay. Yeah. But, I, I, we'll get a little bit more into yep. the forensic side of stuff. No, that's um, fine. That's you fine. said a laptop. That's the one in the RV, right? Yes. So it is password protected as well. Is that yours? Yes. Who else would have access to that? Same same kind of deal. We use it for you know kids watching movies, you know browsing online, whatever. 
Right. It doesn't get used all all that much. But it is password protected? Yes. Just one password or multiple? Well, so it's password protected in the fact that if you log in, I think it'll automatically log you in. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're, you know, if you go to, it sits idle, it'll lock up sometimes. Okay. I don't know exactly how I have it set. But in terms of ownership, that is your laptop. And in terms of the phone, that is your phone. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we noticed inside of the mm -hmm. whatever, I don't know which one is your office, but the one yes. over here that has the open sign, mm -hmm. that there was another elect uh, computer in there. Yes, so that's an, eight, uh, an HP. That computer is, uh, it's now password protected. Um, but pretty much the guys that work here are the ones that use it. Okay. Um, and so there's, you know, different... So is there, there's currently a password on it right now? Yes, there is. Yeah. And the password's written. I mean, I have it written around so the guys know. Um, I so you. it's not like, I mean, it's just mo mainly to keep somebody from breaking in and accessing files. Oh, no, I understand. Of, you know, right, right. Um, whatever. And so <clears throat> computer in the office, laptop in the RV, yep. your cell phone, and then your coworker's cell phone. Yeah. And then there's also, they, re they reminded me, there's a hard drive probably in the security system, which is up above. Oh, for your surveillance? Right. For yeah. surveillance system. But you, you only use that to, to recover? It's not even, it's not active right now. I mean, I didn't tell anybody else that, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <sorry. laughs> well, I promise. You know, we don't I mean, plan it, on breaking it. No, so, I'm just saying it. We won't give you know, up the secret. Um, how long for your cell phone? How long have you had that? I bought it probably... When it, I mean, a week after it came out, the iPhone 11. So I'm guessing so, that'll need an exact day. Two months, maybe. Two months three ago? Two months. Yeah, two, two or three months. All right. What about that laptop? The laptop I've had for probably five years. Five years? And that's the one that's in the RV? Yes. All right. What about the desktop that's in there? The desktop, the I think I've had that for two and a half years, three years, something like that. And then that hard drive, if you can remember. That's probably five, uh, seven years, maybe. It's an old one. Okay. That kind of helps us narrow things down. Right. So what, what? I don't think there's any others in there. I mean, honestly, I can't remember. I might have an old, you know, phone laying around or something somewhere. In the RV or in the office? I know there's an old phone in the back of this Honda, but that's we found it in a car. You know, okay. it's not like it's uh, car, What so. about any other type of? And now, when we talk about electronics, I know a lot of people often just jump to cell phones, tablets, laptops, things of that nature but also electronic devices that store did, uh, thumb drives. So there's there's a, there's a probably more than one thumb drive in there. I don't and know how many in the office. You're pointing at this one on in the right? In the office on the okay. right. There's also um, camera two cameras in there. Both of those have the, the ability to uh, record, I think, on them. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if any of them actually have any SD cards or anything in them. I don't know. Right. And those thumb know. drives, are those yours? Are they your coworkers or...? I don't know. I don't know. I don't actually know because I don't think I have it. There might be one in that laptop bag as well, um, but they would all be like, they would all be, I mean, if they're here, they're here. I don't know. We find stuff in cars all the time. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. I mean, we find when he's cleaning underneath the seats, he'll find money. I mean, you name it. Huh? Yeah. Pretty much everything. I don't yeah. want to say everything we find. But. So that's more, of a, <laughs> that's more of a lost and found of thumb drives that's in the office right now. Right. But then the one I, I would, well, I mean, we may have wiped some of them and used them for, cause we do car photos mostly is what we're doing. Right. Yeah. We are trying to figure out what led us to this business. Okay. That's yeah. going to involve stuff that's been either uploaded or downloaded onto the internet. And I know agent Acock had mentioned just now a while ago about uTorrent files. Well, in, We'll play this out question by question. Yeah. You, you tell me what you feel comfortable with. Do you know or do you remember um, Napster back in the day? Napster uh, was a file sharing program where millions of users throughout the world could get online and download music files. So if I had an entire album of, say, Garth Brooks, I could upload it onto this into Napster. I mean, I'm familiar. It was probably a little before my right I, I, time, but yeah, <laughs> you show, I'm sure my age. Familiar with it. Come on, but yeah. that, that's <laughs> 31. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm 41, so you, you got me. <laughs> but uh, that was what was called a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing network, and now okay. it's evolved over the years. Yep. It's turned into where these particular or particular programs not only share music files, but they share video files, software programs, documents, you name it. Do you for are you familiar with or do you know anything about peer to peer file sharing networks? Um, I mean, I'm I'm familiar with I guess you could say. Okay, have you ever used or do any of these electronics currently on the property have any of those types of software downloaded onto them? Yes. Okay, which which devices are we talking about? Um, probably all of them. 
all so and I just want to make sure again we're not here to put words in your mouth so when you say all and I'm well okay I won't want to say all because I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the laptop the phone and the computer in the office okay so laptop in the RV yes okay the phone your I phone believe to the best of my knowledge yeah, that's fine yeah again I don't know if they actually all have them or we're not, not here to pin know. you in a corner right. on any of your answers right uh, the laptop that's possibly on the laptop in the RV right possibly yep. on the phone that you had on you right your phone right. not Randall's mm -hmm. right uh, and then I don't know about Randall's but yeah I mean, we're gonna we're gonna yep. have a conversation very similar similar to what we were having with you at, when we're done uh, if he wants to talk to us and then possibly peer-to-peer -peer networks on the HP that's in the yes okay and I guess that would that's what agent uh, uh, Acock was kind of getting to like a tour like a tour browser or a tour um, we upload stuff for our cars and things like that I've had a friend of mine that came and set up with file sharing so we could do you know in more encrypted type stuff he just said it's safer that way he got me onto it to now, be safer I want to make sure again that we're clear when you say tour um, my definition there's kind of a, a I don't I actually don't know the definition so I don't really well, wanna, the tor T O R stands for the onion router which is basically the dark web and the deep web Okay. I don't know if you ever heard of the dark web. That's, I mean, I've heard people talk about it. Right, but then there's torrent. So two different things. Okay. Um, peer to peer, so that falls in the you? torrent files. So you have peer to peer files, which is software that you can download and you can exchange files with users all over the world. Tor, T O R, okay. standing for the onion router, is the dark web. That's a program you. That's where you you can surf the internet anonymously and and get on all these different yeah. sites. So do you know? I don't know which. I mean, I don't know. It just he said tour, so I don't really know okay. which one. That's what, that's fine. I, I just want to make sure I'm not. When you say tour, I'm not thinking dark web, and while you're thinking peer to peer, or vice versa. No, I don't. I so you're saying what? So are you saying what? I, I guess I'm still confused. In terms of the peer, -to -peer he said you can download. I don't, I don't actually know, so right. I guess I better not, okay. <laughs> not say if I, I don't understand. And I'm not going to put words in your mouth, but I'm assuming, because you you said that they have peer-to-peer -peer, uh, programs on these devices, that he was talking about torrent files, not T-O-R. Tor. Torrent, T-O-R-R-E-N-T. Oh, I don't know. As opposed to T-O-R. And there, there is a difference there. So are you saying that, tor are you saying, is your question pertaining to which one? I was just making sure that you and I were on the same page as to what you're talking. But you, I don't think you're seeing the difference. I don't see any difference okay. as far as I. I mean, I don't know. So your friend I, said that there's potentially on these devices. Well, no, no, no. I so I have knowledge that there is something that says Tor on there, okay. at least on one of them. Gotcha. All and right. then, and that has been. Um, I'm just saying that's that was at his recommendation that I that I use those. Okay. Um, and, and so a different, and I don't know at what point. Let's leave who, it at that right. based on your description of right. it. And what would you say the usage of, of the tour? I, that, I don't recall. Okay. Yeah. It, is it more for the business or is it personal? Um, and look, I promise you we're, we're I mean, not, most, okay, so I, I can't, we're, we're not here I can't to, speak to that because, I mean, I have, you have my laptop, you have my phone. So it's probably split, you know, down the middle. Um, the office computer, probably the same thing. All right. And I don't want you to think that we're here because no, and my, somebody's and downloading music. I, we, we wouldn't. So what are you here for then? <laughs> that's what we're getting at. Um, so is, part. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I mean, so is somebody communicating? Part of what? Part of we do a lot of things with with homeland security right. investigations. We enforce over like 400 different federal statutes. And okay. Immigration, narcotics, gangs, yep. and part of the other stuff we do is child exploitation. So we're, we kind of work with, um, saving, saving kids essentially. Yeah. Um, a lot of times, um, we'll find, um, through internet tips that people have, you know, downloaded, um, child pornography, you know, okay. stuff like that. And so is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying is going on? Well, so what we, what we're saying is there is, um, a possibility that there are pieces to this puzzle where we might be able to help save children. Okay. And okay. that's, that's what we're trying to, that's what we're trying to do. Okay. All right. So what is, what is the, I guess, what is the scope is what I've been trying to say. Like, is there some, is there something going on on my devices where that's been something's act accessed or something's downloaded or uploaded or something like that? 
That's what led us here, yes. Okay. Okay, so what we're trying to do is hopefully find out exactly what happened so we can try to use that information to put some pieces of the so puzzle is, together so to help save... Does it does it include so did it mark this IP address? Is that basically what you're saying? Yes. Okay. So does it so I guess in the scope of your investigation, is there going to be I guess I mean you'll narrow it down, you'll be able to figure out probably which device or which thing or at least know if it's any of these devices that are here. Well that's what that's what you see all these other guys running around doing. There are uh, computer forensic analysts. So like even, you know, even if something's on a computer that someone might have downloaded and then deleted, they're going to be able to find it, you know. Yeah, they they've that's been great. doing that. That's what they do, you know. Yep. So, you know, with that being said, we're just trying to get get to the exactly. bottom of exactly. No, well that 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 helps me a lot to understand what you're what you're here for. So, I understand that. I respect that. That's good. So, what other uh I guess you know they'll do their work and figure out what they can find so has there been anything let's say within the last five to six months between yourself or any of your employees or any other associates that have been on this property that has raised a red flag as to why that search warrant or federal search warrant might have been signed not That's at all why we're here no. nothing that might have been accidentally or intentionally downloaded or uploaded from any of these networks or software programs that we've talked about and not that i know of no. yeah. and not that